All right, guys, welcome to the secret history living in your aquarium. Today we have uh, three stages of egg development of the Madaka rice fish that we'll be looking at and a newly hatched rice fish. So when we look very closely, this is about a three or four week old egg and it is almost ready to hatch. You can see all the um, blood coursing through the different veins in this little fish. You can see the two dark eyes, which are the sensory organs, um, the two big dark round circles, and then you can also see the spine wrapped up around uh, with the skinniest part of the tail over the eye on the top there. Um, we can definitely see it's got a heart pumping all that stuff and the heart is right behind the head and you can kind of make that out now i also want to point out the cilia or little hairs on the egg on the outside of the egg here that is what allows the eggs to be sticky when you have an egg scatter or a species that sticks eggs to things like the uh madaka rice fish or you know lots of different fish actually have eggs that are sticky any fish that lays them on, you know, plecos as well, uh, cribs that will stick them to the roof of something. They have these little hairs and it kind of acts like Velcro. And they've got these little hairs that will latch on and uh, stick to anything. So you can see that this guy is um, shifting a little bit in his egg and should be hatching uh, fairly shortly and then we'll have a primitive little fish larva. Now let's take a look at an earlier egg. So if we take a look here, let's see, we should have two eggs and that's the earliest one. So the second earliest one should be right here. All right. So when we look here, you can see that the cilia or the hairs on that egg are kind of at their max there. So they're really holding on uh, on the outside, but we can really see in the inside of the egg here that the fish, the eyes are a little closer together, um, a little less developed. You can actually see the vein over the eye or the membrane in the egg. And you can definitely see the tail or the spinal uh, column which is not bone or anything yet, or not even cartilage yet, probably, um, formed up or wrapped around on the edge of the egg. But we can still make out that it's got those uh, essential parts. It's got its brain right in between its eyes and the heart kind of underneath that. So very cool that you can see all the liquids coursing through uh, this, this fish's body here already. So this is this one's probably two or three weeks old, this egg. And this one seems to be moving more as I've watched it the last few minutes. Um, I think the light has warmed up the, the uh, slide and it is shifting due to that. So it actually is able to move around in its egg and will hopefully be fine when we get it back to its home. All right, let's see here. So this is the earliest developed one, and here you can see that some of the cilia are actually very long. Now this is about a week old egg uh, of the Madaka rice fish, same species. And we can see more organs and different color tissue and things that are uh, obscured by the, the actual fish's body and the other embryos. But here we've got a really uh, good view of the heart beating up kind of up in front of the eyes there and then we can see the uh, blood actually pumping through the body too already and you can actually make out the individual blood cells um, that are moving as well as some sort of um, I don't know if it's um, I don't know some sort of little uh, sphincter or flexing muscle back here behind the eye that we're kind of looking at so this is actually this one actually still has its tether that it would have uh to hold on to any surface uh and that is when the mother um has 
the egg, it kind of leaves it just like when you crack an egg in the kitchen. Um, you can see this tether here, uh, right there on the lower section there. It's, it's wrapped around a piece of algae or algae. Uh, and the eyes are not quite yet as formed, but still a really uh, fascinating look at the development of an egg. Now, before this stage, you don't see much of anything in the egg. Uh, it's only about a week old, but here you can see all the organs are starting to form. Earlier than this, you just kind of get some clear sacs and uh, one eye that has yet to kind of split into two and kind of a line that's folded up around that is that main fuselage of the body. So let's take a look at one of the early fish in development. All right, we'll try to be quick with this one because he's going to be warming up on this slide and we really don't need much magnification here but let's see what we can see if we move the fish so this is a fish that hatched tonight let's see here we're kind of chasing it you can see there's other algae and other things in the water that I've got it in but let's see if we can see what we can see It'll probably lodge itself on one of the edges here of where the water is, just as a matter of what they do. There it is. So there we've got the the little fish. So the Madaka rice fish, you can see it's got its mouth and it's got uh, its heart beating. Can we still see any of the fluid moving in it? But there's that tail that wraps around so nicely in the egg. And uh, it's got, you can't tell if it's really pigment or debris on it yet, but it's also got its pectoral fins uh, really flapping away, working there. And you can actually see its stomach. You can see that there's some cells and food in its stomach there. So that's kind of interesting on its own. And yes, you can see the fluid moving through it, um, which is also very cool. So... This is a little Madaka rice fish, and you can see its eyes also, uh, as well as its brain up above, and it's got a small little, uh, basically you can see its liver there and kidney and uh, stomach as well. So really interesting, as well as the spinal cord uh, with the nerves and things the developing, starting to get more detailed. And we can also see there's food in that water. Um, there's little teeny uh, food for it to be eating, just swirling around in the water if you look carefully. But you see that little off to the left there, little bits of uh, whatever's in your aquarium, that's what your fish are going to be eating. So welcome to the world, little guy. You can actually see the eye lens there, and you can make out that the eye has the 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 pupil and the iris part of the eye you can actually make out that compound eye there so very neat and it is using its mouth to breathe in and out there which is also very neat so there you have it guys let's look at one more little fish uh, a different species so this is the madaka rice fish almost looks like a cartoon eye there and uh we'll look next at a sparkling gourami uh, fry that has just hatched. Now their eggs are so small and they hatch within 24 hours that I haven't actually been able to capture an egg, but I did catch one of the babies. So let's take a look at a probably four hour old sparkling gourami fry next. All right, guys. So here is a sparkling gourami fry, super similar to the other fish, to the uh, Madaka rice fish, except we can see there's a, a red dot there on the belly. There's also some green pigment on the back there, but the eyes are developed very much the same. Uh, the spinal column seems to have a little more of a rigid uh, line through it, and there seems to be um, a little more development on the tail, like a bit of a I don't know what you'd call it, just the actual finnage starting to evolve and little hairs all up and down the body of the fish there. You can see that 
you can actually see blood coursing all the way to the end of the tail there and little hairs that will become the fins uh, and this little guy is probably real scared. He's just born, real confused. And you can see that big circular uh, body on it there uh, in the center of it. Now, same anatomy, same compound eyes kind of thing, but this is actually a much smaller fry. Uh, and you can actually already see the, um, the, the on the fins, even though they're translucent, on the pectoral fins, you can already start to make out uh, what is going to let us know uh, how many rays there are on that, that fin. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, but boy, would it be hard to tell what's what if I didn't know what had been in which tank. So just kind of interesting. Uh, the last little bit here that I'll show you is I'm going to show you guys these uh, when they're not under magnification, just to show you an idea of just how small we're talking about. So let's take a look at that. All right, guys, so we're going to look at this. I know it's kind of a <laughs> odd spot because it's on the back of a phone case, but here we have the little Madaka rice fish fry uh, with kind of a little figure eight shaped body a little bit more, whereas the needle shaped body with the belly or that circle, the round the round spot that we saw in the microscope is up near the eyes which are more reflective because this one's going to have blue eyes this uh, sparkling gourami and then there is the egg right there that's the most underdeveloped egg yet we saw that there was a little fish in there so if I shine this light sorry I'm trying to do this with both hands but this is comparing my <laughs> my fingers to the size of what we're dealing with here and that's on a phone case so we've got some very teeny uh little little creatures here so just wanted to show you guys that and uh i hope you enjoyed seeing into this kind of uh maybe maybe you've seen it before but i think it's kind of an unseen world uh, compared to what we usually get a glimpse at and in the complexity of our aquarium it is so often and easily missed uh, when we're looking at things so let's return these guys to from whence they came and uh, yeah move on to the next project thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you next time if you want to be updated when you get the next video be sure to click the little uh, alert thing that surrounds the bell when you subscribe all right guys take care bye